Hi Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your tarot messages. In today's reading we'll see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming week. Um, for those of you interested in a personalised reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed below the video. Um, otherwise guys, let's go ahead and let's begin. Okay, um, Scorpio, a lot of you need to drop your guard, you need to lower your guard. There is a um, strong romantic energy that is present in the cards here. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Ten of Cups. Um, this is either someone who is, this person is already in your life, okay, so this is someone whom you are connected with. You might not be in a romantic connection with this individual as yet, um, or for some of you, this is someone whom you're yet to meet. There is going to be a need or there is a need for you to lower your guard. You, I get it. You have, you know, you're emotionally reserved. You wear some heavy emotional armor. You are a sensitive sign at the end of the day. And this is why you do it. You know, this is why you've built your walls up so high because you just, you want to make sure that the person that gets in is able to climb over those walls, you know, and is worth you lowering your guard for. However, let me tell you that you do not want to be closed off to this opportunity. You do not want to be closed off to this individual because what the cards seem to really strongly indicate for you is that there is a chance for you to connect with someone who is someone who is fated for you, okay? This feels like I feel like the cards have a fated message for you. So if you're already in a connection with this person, some of you, you have your doubts, you have your reservations as to where this could go or, you know, how this potentially could unfold. Um, there is no guarantees in love, just as there is no guarantees in life. Um, sometimes people hurt others intentionally, sometimes completely unknowingly and unintentionally. I'm not saying that this person is out to get you. I'm not saying that they're out to hurt you, but... In the process of you building a connection, you potentially could end up getting hurt or you potentially could end up hurting this person. But if you close yourself off to this individual, yeah, you might close yourself off to the hurt that might it might, you know, um, you might experience. But you're also closing yourself off to this wondrous possibility of you connecting with a soulmate energy, of you connecting with someone who you're in complete and soulful alignment with. Um, you know, someone who understands your language, someone who understands the language of love and speaks it fluently, someone who can provide you um, with a very loving, caring, supportive, compassionate, understanding relationship, someone who is, you know, who is going to want to, um, who's going to have your best interests at heart, someone who's going to want to, um, you know, Who's going to want to do this thing with you forever so if you close yourself off this is potentially what you're closing yourself off to if you're already in a relationship with this person i feel like um to me it feels like the cosmic um, energies here the cosmic influence is you're at a stage where you potentially could be leveling up this connection could be leveling up this connection could be you know moving on to um, the next phase but you're afraid Okay, you're afraid that you potentially could ruin a good thing. You're afraid that you might get hurt. You're afraid that they might get hurt. You're afraid that it might not work out. You're afraid that, you know, it might not happen. It might not end in the way that you want for it to end. You have your fears. Um, so as long as you hold on to those fears, they're going to keep you consumed. This is why it's so important for you to be vulnerable. Because, yeah, okay, you're, you, you know, you're opening yourself up. Um, and your vulnerabilities, you know, you being in a vulnerable position could see you get hurt, but it could also see you become, you know, in this beautiful, loving relationship that you have not yet experienced, at least, you know, not something like this. What you have find or what you will find in this person is an energy of, you know, you feeling like you're at home. Um, I see a lot of you, if you open yourself up to this person you're going to indulge in a very beautiful romantic relationship with this person um 
this is someone who I feel like there's so much charm and there's so much romance and there's so much joy and excitement to this relationship um, and the thing is you know if you stay closed off to this it's not going to help this connection gain momentum and for it to continue to gain momentum and this energy of fear is only going to drag on into the future for you so it's so important that you embrace um, you know you embrace this because let me tell you, a lot of you will find this person, you know, very irresistible. There's a lot of, you know, this person is someone who's very good looking. There's a lot of charm. And you're just going to be very drawn to this person's energy. So for a lot of you, you know, it's going to, it's this irresistible charm that you won't be able to deny. But at the same time, I feel like this connection has the power to last. But only if you, you know, allow it to gain the momentum that it needs. You staying closed off, you, you know, you know, you, and I get it, some of you might be shy, you might just be emotionally reserved, but it's it's so important for you to at least just take, you know, the first few steps here. Because there's so much more to this story than what you think there is. There's just so much more to what you're, you know, to what you and this person has. You're going to you're ready to embrace a whole new chapter of your life. You're ready to embrace a whole new relationship, a whole new cycle, a whole new beginning. You're ready for that, okay? But you 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 know, and if you just don't let the fear consume you, I get it that a lot of you might be scared and you've been hurt before. You've been hurt in the past and you've been betrayed and you've been, you know, cheated on. You've I get it, you've been hurt, but you cannot step into this relationship in that energy of fear don't let it consume you because it's going to overpower you and it's going to overcome you you know the energy seem to strongly encourage that you take this leap of faith that you give this person the chance you give this connection the chance that it deserves now for some of you this person hasn't entered your life just yet but you will be connecting with this person real soon this could be someone that you might connect with online or you might have already connected with this person online it might have happened via an online dating app uh, social media platform um, it could also this could be a long distance relationship you might be doing a long distance connection with this person for quite some time it could also be someone who is from a different um, country or lives in a different country or was born overseas was born to parents foreigners parents from overseas uh, they may have an accent they may speak um, a few different languages they may be learning a new language they may be doing a lot of traveling someone who maybe is or has you know is very well cultured well traveled someone who I feel like is very um, very adventurous someone very romantic someone very charming someone's got old-school charm in their energy um, this person has also been hurt before so they'll get it they'll get it that you might not want to rush the pace they'll get it that you might you know be nervous scared or excited you just need to open up and communicate with this person because I just feel like this person gets it they get you you guys just get each other so for a lot of you if you are going to drop down your guard if you're going to let your debt you know let down your guard and truly open yourself up you're opening yourself up to intimacy you're opening yourself up to a relationship to a person who wants to have you know who's so drawn to you and for you this is not only going to be satisfying but it's also going to be it's also going to be emotionally cathartic, okay? It's going to be releasing. You're going to release yourselves from the shackles of your fears, you know, your fears of um, emotional intimacy, your fears of commitment. It's going to be very um, liberating for you. The universe is definitely intervening here. There is definitely divine intervention. You know, you're attracting this person into your life or you have already attracted this person into your life. Um, so there's definitely this divine intervention. You know, you're, 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 you guys are both... I feel like you're both, you know, craving a relationship. You both want something that feels a lot more... It has more substance, something that's a lot more deeper and a lot more intense. And 
there's a chance that you and this person can find your emotions reaching really high and new heights. Um, someone who makes you feel safe. Um, your heart deserves to feel loved. Your heart deserves to feel understood. And this is a true connection. And if you close yourself off to this person, to potentially, you know, opening yourself up and meeting with this person, you close yourself to all of that. Um, and you deprive yourself from all of that. So, you know, it's important to let your guard down because you can have this wonderful Ten of Cups with this person. You can have this wonderful idyllic scene, okay? It's time to gain more confidence in your ability and more confidence in all the beautiful things that you deserve. I get it. You've had, you know, the Ten of Swords. I get it. You've been hurt and you've been betrayed. And some of that past pain might still be lingering in your energies. But this is going to help you heal that. This person has such a healing quality and a healing energy to them. I mean, look at that. The Star card, you know, just goes to show and, and illustrate to you how much of a healing quality that they do have and how much of a healing energy that they will be to you. They're going to help you heal some of your past pains, your past hurts, and also some of these insecurities which are keeping you bound to them, which are keeping you feeling, you know, powerless here. So allow, open yourself up and it will gain momentum. Absolutely. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support if you haven't already by liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. Bye for now.